Hi all, I have another very entertaining attacking game to show you. Stockfish 8 versus Leela ID 11149. So very high up there on the IDs now. The Fast and Furious, 40 moves in 2 minutes with uh, 2 second per move increment. So this is from David Grosvenor. We have the opening book set as the Sicilian Defense. This variation, the Nimzovich Rosalimo attack. And here is the end of the book. So what does Leela chooses choose here? In fact, this is actually a very interesting choice. She doesn't choose the main line, which is D takes. The main line has perks that you can see there's only two pawn islands. There's no isolated pawn in Black's camp. Black controls D4 and usually follows up with Bishop G7 and E5 moves like, moves like that. And I thought this was like the strongest uh, system for Black. Leela is actually starting to influence, actually, me with b takes c6 so this doesn't do anything for d4 control it leaves an isolated a pawn why would black want to do this one of the perks here it does bring a pawn to the center uh, so let's see knight c3 bishop g7 d3 we have e5 white castles d6 rookie one knight e7 and the problem is for black usually is that this pawn structure can be further dismantled white plays a3 and the idea to sort of dismantle you can imagine this sort of dicing with d takes here b4 takes takes we'd have isolation isolation and a more vulnerable yeah structure in general c5 in particular will be really weak so a5 but there's a price to be paid usually for a5 to stop b4 this pawn is itself a major target potentially and it's easily blockadable so knight a4 fixes that target so this is kind of restrain blockade and potentially destroy on the a5 pawn is Leela worried by Nimzovich's deadly saying restrain blockade destroy Leela castles b3 is played which restrains against c4 now so further restraint so h6 knight d2 now is played which implies actually knight c4 is of great interest and maybe the knights combine for b6 as well f5 but black leader is getting a kind of free hand over this side with f5 gaining space knight c4 and there's a lot of pressure now d5 is taking in knight takes e5 potentially so bishop e6 now bishop d2 so the scene has been set for the Columbo type murder of the A5 pawn. It's been restrained. <laughs> the gloves have been put on and it's going to be put under pressure. This pawn is about to be murdered. Is Leela worried? Well, can she install the dreaded form pawn on the other side of the board as compensation? F4. There's a threat of F3 potentially now. White puts a stop to that. G5. Now it's actually difficult to stop g4 with h3. This doesn't really help because there's always h5. So white gets on with the assassination now of the a pawn. <laughs> Rook f1. So this vacates e1 for queen e1. So stockfish 8 is also good at sliding block puzzle chess. Queen e1 to put pressure on a5. Knight g6. Leela says goodbye poor a pawn don't worry i'll seek vengeance i say so queen e1 the a pawn is going here one two three this battery here the a pawn's going if white had tried h3 by the way h5 as an example with the a, a pawn potentially going but let's say the king wants to evacuate first in fact the king is in big trouble here in the in these types of variations very big trouble so even though the a pawn drops off the board vengeance is gained with the attack here just building up very very rapidly this is just an example continuation all of black's forces can conspire against the king so the a pawn hasn't given itself up for nothing basically so that could be a revenge scenario so queen e1 g4 now is there a revenge scenario here fg bishop takes the pawn is eliminated and c6 is now the next potential victim is that going to be protected 
Uh, so just before we go on from this, if h3, then it seems bishop e6, this line, there's bishop f6, and just giving up this pawn as well means the queen can gain a tempo and maybe use the g file. So, for example, like this is winning a5 anyway. Uh, so that's no good because look, bishop h4 is distracting away from a5. So that's also a liability. These knights are sometimes liabilities. And if we go back here, instead of knight takes, if bishop takes, let's have a look at this. Uh, sorry, on, on bishop takes g4, let's have a look at bishop takes a5. Queen g5 is possible here. And we can get a form pawn revenge with f3. So g3, d5. Yeah, form pawn revenge. Look at that. The knight's trapped there. That doesn't help. And if the knight goes back, then the form pawn is pretty vicious here because now h4 and we can damage this part of the pawn chain. Black has a big advantage there. So white does actually decide to uh, take the a5 with the knight. We have bishop f6 just ignoring c6. Yeah, black is wanting, leader is wanting this diagonal. So we have rook f2. It's a bit too dangerous to take here because queen c7, for example, and here then there's bishop h4 distracting the queen away from protecting a5. And if white's forced, you know, to try and leave the queen on e1 to hold a5, if white's forced to play this, this position, bang, rook takes f1, check. And there's the beautiful rook f3 here. And we can see actually now the queen slides to g7 and it's a totally unstoppable attack this position is this is just desperate moves from black to stave off being mated so that doesn't really help white at all uh, to take on c6 it just accelerates black's attack uh, so rook f2 white's trying to just put defensive barriers around the attack now bishop h4 g3 yeah this this looks uh, as though Okay, the idea to take and then maybe take on g3, but uh, this is ignored. Uh, so we have actually king h7. Offering uh, the bishop. Yeah, it's interesting. So if rook, sorry, this, this is a very interesting position now. Should the bishop be taken or something else? The bishop was taken in the game. If rook g2, bishop h3, and if the bishop's uh, taken here, then this is just horrible for white, as you might uh, imagine. The attack here is really vicious, threatening mates on g2. Queen h5 threatens knight f3 now, things like that. And here, uh, now, although that's defending h2, Black has the sneaky queen h3 to unpin to threaten knight takes and then queen f3. For example, this position is actually winning for black because of knight takes h2, this mechanism, and then queen f3 mating. So that's a beautiful uh, attacking mechanism there. Uh, now, also, as well, instead of taking the bishop, so we looked at rook g2, what if queen f1? Well, then we can just take on a5, and this is just horrible. You know, the rook can switch over again to g7 why it's been totally compromised so the bishop is simply uh, just taken uh, we have knight takes h4 king h1 and now queen g5 and there's a big threat of bishop f3 uh, mating here if white doesn't do anything white's got to do something about bishop f3 mating uh, just to show, put that on the board uh, bishop f3 check forces rook takes and then there's queen g2 mate so white plays Queen f1, so we're taking on c6, Queen f1 to, to stop being mated on g2. But then we have Queen h5, and f3 can't be. <laughs> these knights in Siberia can't help f3. The bishop can't help f3. It's on the wrong color for a start. <laughs> Unless it's illegally moved, it can't help f3. Nothing can help f3 here. The king can't even help f3. So f3 is in black's domain here, even though, yeah, it's a very ag aggressive position. Knight c4 is played, and we have rook g8. In fact, here, knight f3 is already 
very very strong with the same sort of move mechanics as before the attack mechanics of knight h2 and bishop f3 for example h3 bishop takes uh, this position's crushing uh, and if we let's see if queen g2 then here and then the same sort of mechanics as before with bishop f3 winning so it's very very dangerous uh, just knight f3 is also it's probably a winning move as well but rook g8 is strong as well and it's winning it's absolutely winning stockfish just blows up here bishop takes f4 it doesn't do anything it's just hopeless knight d2 um, okay that finally does defend f3 uh, it's so that was pretty desperate what stockfish just did just gave up bishop just to have knight d2 put that in slow motion so rook a f8 but it's just the winning attack this position b4 f3 the dreaded form pawn now so bishop h3 to g2 uh, potentially uh, is on the cards not at the moment the queen's controlling h3 b takes knight g6 but now bishop h3 to g2 for example queen d1 bishop h3 we have uh, rook takes f3 bishop g4 rook takes uh, yeah white's just giving up the queen here with this move rook takes f8 bishop takes d1 it's just been a slaughter queen g4 check king h8 h3 queen takes and then knight f4 check <laughs> ah what a massacre rook g7 is played and the game ends here the game is close it's it's mating rook takes if it continues it's just a forced mate in fact like this so I'll put you in the game end position and I think I've learned something new about this entire variation uh, believe it or not uh, on my chessworld.net site uh, we used to have these rest of the world matches not so much uh, recently but a few years back and it's and it was sort of reinforced to me that the way to play this after taking here was to take away from the center to control d4 that was the established knowledge and the main line in uh, chess based line book I, I just took that as my bit of knowledge about this variation but leader's choice is making me rethink the whole thing because if the isolated a pawn can be used as bait this whole variation of b takes giving the a pawn as a target just temporarily to stop that b4 so that the, the structure isn't diced but it becomes a, a target to swamp the king side to get a, a form pawn it's like revolving the whole game strategy from the opening around a form pawn so using the a pawn as bait getting a really vicious attack over here uh, to crash through justifies the early b takes c6 even it's just incredible stuff this game example is phenomenal in my view i i don't know what you guys think this is how to play attacking chess offer some bait on the other side of the board to get some pieces in siberia get the form pawn get the unstoppable attack it's a simple recipe it seems <laughs> jamie oliver would be proud of this recipe okay comments questions like shares appreciated Thanks very much.